a former police minister had used ram raid figures that were much lower than updated police numbers. That former police minister was none other than the Prime Minister himself. And it comes barely a week after Te Whatu Oro was forced to admit the publication of inaccurate emergency department figures. A run-of-the-mill site in Auckland. CCTV footage shows a St Helier's shop front smashed in last week before a stream of people enter and take off with the till. On the surface, it's a fairly black and white crime. But data surrounding ram raids is anything but clear. 50 in May, 37 in June and 42 in July. When Chris Hipkins was police minister, his responses to written parliamentary questions said there were fewer ram raids than we now know occurred. Take the peak last August. The minister's office reported 67. Data now shows 116. For September, 60 ram raids is now 85. For October last year, cross out 26, make that 76 ram raids, nearly three times as many. Chris Hipkins' media team has continuously ignored questions on the data issue. Today he was forced to defer to, well, no one. Stuart Nash gone, no permanent successor in sight. There will be a question for the Minister of Police and as soon as we've got one I'll tell you. The PM and former Police Minister not keen to talk numbers. Yes, but, the Minister of Police that released that data. Yeah, and I haven't had a chance to have a look at the most recent um, update on that from the police. So. Data disasters covering crime and health to major election issues in successive weeks.